Hey guys, we are in the basement and today we're going to do another John's Arcade on the road. And actually a very special one because we're going to take a long trip up north to Fun Spot in Laconia, New Hampshire. You see every year around this time I have my annual tournament. So we're going to go up north, we're going to go to Fun Spot, and we're going to do an all access tour of Fun Spot. Now if you guys don't know what Fun Spot is, I mean, it is the world's largest arcade. It is where they have the classic arcade museum, ACAM, the American Classic Arcade Museum. Um, you know, if you guys saw King of Kong, I mean, Fun Spot was kind of the, sh the star of the movie because that's where a lot of the events took place. Uh, you know, Billy Mitchell and Steve Weeby, they were battling it out on that Donkey Kong in Fun Spot. And to me, Fun Spot is a magical place. I go up there several times a year. I love it up there. It's in a beautiful resort area in Laconia. Um, they got Ware's Beach up there. It's it's a very nice area. It's right on Lake Winnipesaukee. There's lots to do. So anyway, tell you what, why don't we get in the car and let's take a rather lengthy drive up north to Laconia, New Hampshire and visit Fun Spot and the American Classic Arcade Museum. To my stand-up at my old kind of conceptual stuff, my sidekick on the radio. So he was the last originally that there was something about you know, honoring a line about what will and won't be done. Alright, I've been driving for about three hours here and I'm I'm kind of ready to kill myself. So it's been a boring ass drive, but you gotta admit up here in New Hampshire, it's kind of pretty. Check out those mountains, so. So I'm about to get off here, exit 23, which is the exit uh, for Fun Spot. And uh, so let's take this exit and we'll be right back. So you can see uh, Lake Winnipesaukee there in the distance. Uh, and you know, Fun Spot is in Ware's Beach, which is a uh, resort area. I mean, in the summer, it's it's freaking great out here. And uh, but you can see that's Lake Winnipesaukee down there. It, it's all it's all frozen and and covered with snow. But uh, really, is a, a beautiful area up here. And uh, I, I encourage you to come out here in the summer because uh, you know if you like boating and and stuff like that, you know, and it, it's it's a very great great area. see the, the lake there in the distance. So we got about a mile to go. We're almost there. Okay, we are approaching Fun Spot. Here it is on the left here. Um, actually, in the last couple years, they added this kind of outdoor monkey jungle gym thing. I don't know what the hell it is. It's uh, zip lines. It's, uh, it's called Monkey Trunks Extreme. But anyway, there it is. There's the famous... Fun okay, spot fun sign. Um, Long left. So let's pull in here. Hopefully, I could do this. Uh, I'm, my car is a stick, and it's kind of hard. To, I don't currently have a right hand to shift with. So arriving at address five seven. See if we can do this. But uh, uh, when you pull in, they've got a bingo arriving hall address, here five, on the seven, right, nine. and then Long the left. main building here on the left. Uh, so let's find a parking spot, and uh, that's handicapped. Here's a spot right here. Oh shit, there's an old lady I almost hit. <laughs> People are very nice here. I almost murdered her. <laughs> Alright, so we're here. We are at Fun Spot. Alright, let's uh let's go in there. I'm meeting some friends here, so having my annual tournament. Alright, gotta get my shit together, but this is it guys. We are at Fun Spot. So you can see here is the entrance and it says entrance to Fun Spot and the American Classic Arcade Museum. And then they have a big building here which is a lot of the redemption stuff. But this this right here is basically well it's part of the uh, Classic uh, Arcade Museum. And here's the bingo hall where all the uh, old ladies go in there hoping to win their millions. I guess you can win serious money in there. Uh, I've actually never stepped foot in there. I'd like to do that sometime, actually. It'd be kind of fun. All right, so let's go in to Fun Spot. Why don't we take this entrance? We'll just kind of walk across, and uh, we'll do a tour of Fun Spot. Kind of show you all the different areas. Oh, 
Okay, here we are. This is kind of like their golf course, their mini golf course. I don't know why they don't get rid of this thing. It takes up so much room, but I guess it's been here since 1952. So um, this area here, they actually recently added these this, this kind of overflow area, and this is actually where they hold their annual tournament. Um, it's kind of a mishmash of games on this side. Um, sea Wolf, Motor Race, Liberator. Here's a Disc of Tron. This was actually originally an EDOT, an environmental Disc of Tron that they cut. Um, so it's different than like my Discotron. So let's just kind of walk through here. Um, like I said, this side is definitely a mishmash of games. Um, definitely some cool stuff here. Um, here's a Red Baron cockpit. Uh, Star Wars cockpit. Star Trek cockpit. Crazy Taxi and Afterburner. And let's go around this side here. Um, some cool cabs here. These are Midway uh, MCR games. Wacko, it's all like sideways and stuff, and Cosmic Cruiser, um, actually a friend of mine donated this game, but it's kind of got like this toy in there, it's like a UFO, you can see that, it's like a real toy that's kind of floating inside there. Um, but yeah, these are all games that were in the tournament last year, and they just never removed them from this area. So let's kind of walk through, and if there's anything worth talking about, I'll point it out. Um, Space Fury is a very cool Sega vector game um, brutally hard challenge my imperial fling. but the little alien talks it's pretty cool depth charge is pretty neat jump bug I actually like that game uh, Bazarian space dungeon I'm gonna do a review of space dungeon uh, release that next week mad planets uh, gap plus okay and then we go over here um, here they have some of the XD gun games and some of the stern games um, down here we have Tutankham, Minefield, Puyin, Bagman, Rescue. Um, these gun games are pretty sweet. Actually, this chiller game is brutal. You like have to shoot people. <laughs> it's, this game is nuts, chiller. Um, this is actually pretty cool. This is a Neo Geo donated by Keith Apicary. And uh, they kind of have like this, he's const they're constantly rolling this video with him. But uh, this MVS here was actually the game that was in in his video for bright buttons and two joysticks. And uh, hi, Matt. So Matt, this is computer space over here. Yeah. This is like the first like video game ever, right? Uh -huh. Isn't it? Yeah. So these are a bunch of uh, universal cabinets. Um, I think that these cabinets look cool, but the games actually all suck. Have you ever played any of these? To do. But I think, I mean, these cabinets are sweet looking, but uh, I don't, I think most of the games on here are, are pretty shitty. Ladybug's okay. And over here we have a uh, original Pong, which is a, uh, well, it, is this, no, this isn't the first video game. Is computer space for this? I mean, this is Atari's first video game. Um, here's Death Race, which is a pretty crazy game. Pretty controversial game. You have to run over people with cars. That's right. Yeah, why don't you play that, Matt? All right, let's go down here. We'll let Matt play Death Race. Oh, there you go. So, Matt, run over those people. Oh, they have a safety zone. But they're, they're not, like, people. They're, like, zombies, right? So that's how they get away with it. But I guess people protested this game. <laughs> And they scream when you kill them. Ah! All right, let's go over here. So here's like kind of like the main part of uh, the Fun Spot Arcade. And uh, let's go on this end here, because this is my favorite end. Um, here's all the Pac-Mans. So they got Super Pac, Junior Pac, Regular Pac, Pac-Man Plus, Ms. Pac-Man, and the Glob, which is not Pac-Man. Um, they've got some laser disc games here. Here's Dragon's Lair, Firefox. Um, this is Mach 3, Space Ace, Cliffhanger, Us vs. Them, Astrom, Belt, and Cobra Command, and Dragon's Lair 2. So they've got a pretty comprehensive laser disc game collection. Um, and then over here is Exidy's Mousetrap, um, which is a pretty neat game. And then here's like the Nintendo Row. And this has always been my favorite part of Fun Spot because I love all the Nintendo games. But Gunsmoke, not a Nintendo game, but they have it in a Nintendo cabinet. And then uh, Mania Challenge, looping. Uh, then we go Punch-Out, uh, Dual Screen, Play Choice 10, Super Mario Brothers, Popeye, 
versus Golf, Dr. Mario, Donkey Kong Jr., Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong 2. And by the way, this Donkey Kong is the Donkey Kong that was in King of Kong. I mean, that's this is like the famous Donkey Kong. And this is where all that went down, right here on this machine. Um, and, uh, you know, some people say this machine's kind of mysterious. It has magical powers, and it's harder than other Donkey Kongs. I don't believe it. But uh, And then I have a Donkey Kong 2 right here, which is a, a fictional game. Um, the artwork was actually done by Richard, this old game. And I have this game. This is actually a mod for Donkey Kong, and someone made artwork for it. Um, it's pretty cool. Uh, and then Donkey Kong 3, and over here some kind of randomness, uh, SNK, Gorilla War, Black Tiger, Double Dragon. Um, we have Venture and Rampage. And then over here we have Galaga 88, and original Galaga, Galaxian, Satan's Hollow, Alien Syndrome. Check out that topper, isn't that awesome? I, I, don't, I don't think the game's very good, but uh, I love that topper up there. Um, Contra, Load Runner. This is a pretty neat game, Tunnel Hunt, where you kind of like look through this little window here, uh, and it's like you're literally going down a tunnel. It's a pretty cool game. Um, okay, so down here um, is a lot of Midway stuff and Sega, um, and also some other randomness. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins, Congo Bongo, Zaxxon, Super Zaxxon, uh, Wonder Boy. Amadar, Armored Car. I love this game, Armored Car. Strategy. Oh, this game sucks. I, it actually doesn't suck. It's so hard. That was in the tournament one you're here. Super Cobra, which is kind of like the sequel to Scramble. Frenzy, which is like the sequel to Berserk. Astro Invader, Moon War, Turtles, Berserk. Um, 1942. The End and Lost Tomb. And then over here we got Burger Time, Rally X, which is not working, Gorf. And I have a review of that. Wizard of War, this is a pretty cool game by Midway. Uh, Mappy, I love this game. I love this cabinet. Look at the giant topper on it. Um, I really like this game. Uh, Kicker, that was a kind of a cool game. Um, Bosconian which is another kind of cool space shooter, kind of like a like a Galaga type game, but um, it's like a cross between Galaga and like Rally X. Uh, quarterback, that's pretty lame. Kickman, Kickman is a cool game. I actually like that game. You're like a little clown um, on a unicycle. You, know, you gotta pop balloons and uh, like Pac-Man's got a cameo on that. It's a pretty neat game. This is a Chicago Coin Drive Master, which uh, doesn't seem to be working. Domino Man, which I used to have. Fun game, really cool cabinet. Uh, Mario Brothers, Solar Fox, Tapper, Timber. Um, we've got Tron. T oh, by the way, Timber is a cool game. It's it's like a it stars like the uh, the same guy that's in uh, Domino Man and also the Tapper guy, and it's a uh, it's a wood chopping game. Pretty neat game. Um, okay, so let's go over here. Track and field, Load Runner, Karate Chap, Buggy Chap, Gyrus. There's a Star Castle. It's a pretty cool vector game. This is like one of those games that's really hard to keep working, but uh, it's a pretty neat game. Here's Gyrus. I have one of these in my garage. Hope they can get that in the basement soon. Here's a super hang on, uh, sit down version. Tardy Cloak and Dagger. It's a fairly rare game. This was kind of like, uh, like a mod that you could put like in a Crystal Castles cabinet, um, which I don't think that cabinet is. Uh, Pleiades. It's kind of an interesting game. Vanguard. Phoenix. Time Pilots. These are all the Century games over here. This game's called Space App. I love this game. It's like a reflex game. We've got these four giant buttons, and you got to kind of zap uh, these spaceships as they approach your little base in the center, which they're not really showing in the track right now. So it's a cool game. Uh, 1943. Here's how Space App looks. You're basically moving. You're aiming with these big giant buttons up, down, left, and right, and you gotta shoot things as it comes to you. Um, here's Romstar Sky Shark, Sinistar, which is a really neat Williams game. Um, this one, I don't know what that is, it's not working though. Here's a uh, Sea Wolf, which is not working. Um, Crazy Kong, I love Crazy Kong. Crazy Kong's like a bootleg Donkey Kong game, but it's actually really cool because they they totally messed with the game. Like just, just removed things and, and made it so you couldn't like ladders like have holes in them. It, it's a crazy game and I actually it's it's actually a lot of fun. I actually enjoy Crazy Kong, even though it's a bootleg. Juno first, 
Um, I actually really like Juno First 2. It's a Konami game that was licensed to Gottlieb, and uh, it's a pretty neat game. Cubert Cubes, here's an original Cubert Cubes, which is a sequel to Cubert. Um, pretty rare game. I love the artwork on the cabinet. Um, I just, come on, I just love stuff like this. It makes me happy. Um, here's a Cubert and a Kroll, which is a pretty shitty game. And we got a Space Invaders right here. Here's a uh, Gauntlet 2, four player. There's a Defender, Moon Patrol, Frisky Tom, Buster Brothers, Make Tracks, which is an interesting Williams game. The Wiz, that's kind of a cool game. Joust 2, which is a fairly rare game. Um, a lot of people hate on this game, I don't know why. Here's Pulsar by Sega, another kind of rare, interesting game. Here's Spectar. I don't, think I, I don't think I ever played that one. This one uh, is some kind of midway driving game called Wheels 2. And Grand Champion. Here's a Black Widow, which is a pretty great Atari vector game. It's kind of like Robotron. I have a video up for this game. And then over there, there's a Stratovox. And here's a Space Harrier. Here's a really cool gun game called Hit the Bear. There's also another version called like Coon Hunt or something that's kind of controversial for obvious reasons. This game over here is really neat. This is TX1 and it's kind of like a like a pole position game on steroids. And it was done by Namco and it's got three monitors. And it's pretty sweet. This is a pole position two uh, sit down game. It's actually a pole position one cabinet with a uh, like con conversion here. Here's pole position one sit down. Um, here's a hard driving. Um, why don't we come down here? Here's Tubin. I used to have this game. I actually love this game. Uh, their, their marquee's not working. It actually has like a waterfall effect, like an old beer sign. Here's Dark Adventure. Um, not really too familiar with that game. Here's Kangaroo. I actually like Kangaroo. It doesn't get a lot of love. Millipede. Centipede. Dig Dug. Missile Command. Here's Atari Video Pinball. Um, this is actually a pretty neat game, and uh, it's it's a pinball game, and it actually uses uh, kind of the half silver mirrors to kind of look like it's like a combination of like you know there's like a real play field down here that they're projecting a video image over. It's actually a pretty neat game. It's video pinball. Um, here's Afterburner, Super Bug, which is uh, I've never played that before. Here's a bunch of Taito games, kind of almost every one of them. Moon Shuttle. Lock and Chase, Wild Western, Jungle Hunt, Frontline, Elevator Action, Alpine Ski, Kicks, <laughs> Crazy Climber, which is a really fun game. Kind of like just do joysticks and you have to control a guy to get to the top. Atari's Food Fight. Here's a uh, Super Breakout. I would love to have a Breakout. Paperboy. Turbo Outrun, Crash, um, we got Basketball here, Tari, Basketball, like a black and white. You know what, those, those graphics are actually pretty good for an old black and white game. That kind of looks awesome. Here's uh, Le Mans, which is a black and white racing game. Here's Sprint, which is another black and white racing game, two players. Uh, drag Race, almost like an old Tari 2600 game. Here's the original Breakout. Which I think this is the one I'd want to get. Um, it's actually a black and white monitor with overlays, like little film over it to make it look like it's colored, but it's not. Uh, here's Canyon Bomber, which is a kind of a neat game. Super Bug, we already talked about that, Afterburner. So let's go over here, and, th and this is kind of the last row over here. Um, we've got Chase HQ, which is a driving game from Taito. Uh, Special Criminal Investigation, APB, Akari Warriors, Twin Cobra and Roadrunner, Sega Quartet, which is an interesting four-player game. I guess this was kind of like their response to uh, to Gauntlet. So they came out with a four-player game, and it's kind of like this spacey type theme. And then here's all of Fun Spots pinball machines. Not all of them, but most of them are right down in this aisle here. So why don't we do this side real quick? Here's Warlords. This is a, a two-player upright version. There's also a four-player cocktail, which is the one to get, but this is still a cool game. It only has two sets of controls. Here's a 720, which is a kind of a cool skateboarding game. Actually, I wouldn't mind having one of these games. It's kind of cool. It's a very neat 
neat cabinet. It's got like a, like a boom box on top of it. Pretty cool. Here's Zybots, uh, which is kind of like a spacey game. Dragon Spirit, I used to have that game. Rolling Thunder, which is a cool um, Atari kind of platforming side scroller. Here's Final Lap, which is a huge, monstrous racing game. Exevious, eh, cool cabinet, bad game. Double Dribble. Man, I love that game on the NES. Basketball game. Indiana Jones, another cool game. Atari System 1, whatever they call it. Um, Marble Madness, another one. Atari's Crystal Castles, which is a cool game. Another game where the cabinet is badass, but the game plays a little flat. Um, Gravatar, I used to have that game. Great Atari Vector game. Space Duel, another great Atari Vector game, like a two-player Asteroids. Um, this is Major Havoc, Havoc, which is um, in a Tempest cabinet. It's a conversion. It's an official conversion, though. Um, the real Major Havoc has a roller, not a not a Tempest spinner. And here's a Tempest. And we're gonna do a video review of Major Havoc, Havoc uh, in a week or two here. Atari Star Wars, Battle Zone, Asteroids Deluxe, and good old Asteroids. And then over here is a three-player Super Sprint, which is um, actually a really fun game. We saw the original one over there. This is like a color, modern version of it. So let's quickly go through the pins here. They've got Black Knight, the original Black Knight, which is a great game. Devil's Dare, Harlem Globetrotters. They've got a lot of old pins. Their pins aren't really in great condition. Um, they're mostly playable. Kiss. Um, Belly's Playboy, Xeon, which is a great, great back glass. Paragon, which is a kind of a classic wide body. Flash, Matahari, which I always love this artwork. I just think it's so great. Fireball 2, Pinbot, another classic here. Big Guns, I used to have that game, it's horrible. F14 Tomcat. Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Joker Poker, Gorgar, Skywings, Grand Lizard, Hi Matt, Hello. are you having fun? High Speed, Laser War, here's an EM Sky Jump from Gottlieb, kind of neat, Gottlieb Grand Slam. And that's pretty much it. That is the classic arcade museum, but there is a lot more to this place. Why don't we, uh, why don't we go downstairs and I'll, I'll show you guys the rest of the place. And I don't know if you're gonna, you're gonna be able to hear me when we go downstairs. It's probably gonna be kind of loud down there. But um, so if you go down here, this is kind of where all the redemption games are. Um, there's also a bowling alley here. So if you come down here, there's a lot of kitty kitty rides and things like that, and ticket games. And so if you come down here on this side, there's a there's a bowling alley. So I'll kind of show you guys that, and then we'll go down another level where a lot of the modern games are. And I'll show you guys where the pinball machines are. So down here is the uh, bowling alley and the bar and and all that good stuff. And you'll recognize. This, these locations from King of Kong, like they filmed a bunch of stuff right here in this hallway, and uh, so they have birthday parties and stuff. But here's the bowling alley. You know, it's a bowling alley. So let's go over here and uh, kind of show you guys where the modern pins are and stuff like that. Oh, this is actually an awesome game. Look at this game, Leprechaun. It's like a miniature cabinet, and they call this a moppet. Pretty wild. <laughs> All right, so let's. Uh, Let's take a walk here, and I'll uh, show you guys kind of the rest of it. I'm walking through here, and people think I'm a freak, but it's okay. So they got some plush stuff. Here's a Superman, off-road, um, a lot of redemption games. They do have some decent pinballs over here. Like, their best pinball machines are on this floor. Um, and they got some new games, like Terminator Salvation over here. Let's Go Jungle, which is a pretty new game. A lot of ticket games. Kids love this area. But this is where their better pinball machines are. They've got Jokers, and Adam's Family, and Cyclone, and Funhouse, uh, Monopoly, Superman, which was a game designed by Steve Ritchie right before he left Atari. Um, and then if we go over here, some more Redemption stuff. Let's go down one more floor. Terminator 2, Simpsons, bunch of crap. 
Hey. What are you guys doing? We're taking off. All right. All right, let's go down here. They got a lot of driving games and hockey tables and air hockey and more redemption, ski ball, all that shit. So, so over here they've got some air hockey games. They've got some uh, NBA Jam, Mortal Kombat's down here. They keep the newer stuff out of the up upstairs area because that's considered the classic arcade. So anything that's like older than like 88 or 90 or whatever comes down here. And I guess that it includes pins as well. They've got a lot of these racing games. Daytona USA, Daytona, Daytona USA 2, NASCAR. They've got these slot machines. I don't know if these things pay out or what. Bunch of ski ball. And uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. NASCAR. They've got like these poker machines. And then back here is like the little snack shop where you can get a hot dog and some pizza and stuff. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's it, guys. I mean, that is fun spot, you know. And here's how what it looks outside. <laughs> so, it's freezing out here. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that walkthrough. I hope, hopefully you heard me because it was pretty loud in there. But, you know, I love this place. I come up here a lot, actually. Uh, my family and I like to come vacation up here because it's, it's a really great area. Right now it's cold. It's like, you know, March 2nd here. But uh, come up in the summer and make the trip. It's definitely a destination. And uh, you know what? Why don't we get in the car and head back to John's Arcade. I'm very excited because I have not What was it called again? So it went down with your name on it. Like that, I know it's gonna sit down. Which I have. Morning. Yeah, I got out of bed. All right, guys, there you have it. That was Fun Spot and the American Classic Arcade Museum. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, if you're ever able to get up there, I highly encourage you to do so. There's actually a lot to do in that area. I mean, it's an awesome area. Lake Winnipesaukee is a great, great place. Um, you know, I'm from Chicago. It kind of reminds me of going up to Wisconsin, like almost Wisconsin on steroids. Um, and, of course, Fun Spot and the American Classic Arcade Museum is just awesome. I mean, if you're into these classic games, you got to get up there, and you know what? Thankfully, it's in a great area, so check it out. Um, their website is funspotnh.com, or fun, you know, New Hampshire, funspotnh.com. And again, thank you for watching my little channel. I release videos every Sunday. If you want to keep up with those, you should subscribe. Go ahead, click that subscribe button, and also check out my podcast, Video Game Outsiders, at videogameoutsiders.com. We do a live show every Tuesday at 9 p.m. at allgames.com. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time. Later!